Hey everyone, so before we begin with our video, we would like to make a small request. Kindly subscribe to our channel and like the video if it helps you and also share it with your friends who may benefit from the same. Hey guys, in this video we'll be showing how to mathematically model the buck converter on Simulink. So before we actually get into the modeling, we'll need to know the relationship between the mathematical model and the physical model and we'll do so by um, getting the equation, differential equations. So we have referred to the paper Mathematical Modeling of Buff Converter written by Ranjveer Kaur and Navdeep Kaur. And um, yeah, so coming into the mathematical model, so these are the main equations which we will use to develop the mathematical model. So V input is equal to V output, which is this here, V output plus the resistance drop across the inductor and the resistance. So here they've taken the line resistance for the inductor as well as the capacitor. We would not be considering that for our simulation purpose. We would just be considering the inductance and capacitance. So I think these equations are pretty self-explanatory, but however, if you do have doubts with respect to how they did derive this, you could leave it in the comment below and we could make a video on that in the future as well. But uh, I would like, I just wanted to show where we got this, we, uh, where we got this, these equations from and where we derived the mathematical model from. So now let's move on to the actual mathematical modeling on Simulink. So now we'll need to begin with, um, we'll need a pulse generator for the duty cycle. We'll also need a constant block which provides the input voltage. We we'll need a gain block to provide the value of inductance, it will be 1 by L. So it's actually whatever the equations we saw in the other video in the um, paper. So we we'll also need a sum block where we take the feedback. And we'll need an integrated block. So this will give us um, 1 by L integral of the voltage V input. Now we'll take another sum block. So now coming to the parallel capacitor part, so this will be 1 by C. We will feed in the values of 1 by L and 1 by C at the end of the video and to look at what, how to design the values of C, L and R, you can check out the video on design of buck converter which we have on our channel as well. So now we'll be taking that pickup point and we'll be putting it into the summer as a feedback part. So this acts as the minus sign, that's the V output. And another pickup point after 1 by R, which is basically the load current. 
So now we we'll get the go to tags to measure the values of load current and load voltage across the voltage. So if the duty cycle is 50%, then the output voltage should be 0.5 times the input voltage. So that's the buck converter's duty cycle ratio formula. We'll take the scope and see the output waveform. We'll also take a display block to see the values accurately. So now let's go ahead and run the simulation. As you can see, the duty cycle is 0.5. So on running the simulation, you can see the output voltage is 170 volts, so which is actually half of 340. And if you see the scope as well, the blue, orange line, the yellow line is the line for output voltage, and the blue line is the line for the load current. So that's it for this video. You can try for other voltages as well. Do subscribe to this channel and the future videos will be making a closed loop control of the of the buck converter using with the DC motor as well. So we'll be doing a speed control. So kindly wait, like stay tuned and check out other videos. And if it helps you, subscribe the subscribe to our channel and thank you. Yeah, that's about it.